Hi guys, it's Megan Rose from the Philippines coming to you with another set of tutorial on how to make this cluster of four wallet uh, that has a slanted design or slanting design. Uh, so for this project, we're gonna use we're gonna need some chalk beads. Uh, these are cheaper alternative to the acrylic rough beads and you can buy several colors uh, with a cheaper price so I'm using this now and I would advise for you to use chalk beads instead of the acrylic just because it is cheaper and it is good for practicing so these chalk beads are also 6 mm in size then also we're gonna need some short nylon monoline stain that are 6 or 0 0.50 0 mm we're gonna need a pair of scissors to cut the string and the zipper to put on the wallet. Okay, so the dimension of this project is about uh, two and a half inches high and three and a half inches across. So you also have the option of using some acrylic rough beads. So I have a sample here. So this project is a shallower type and it is made out of 7 rounds uh, high while the other one is 8 rounds high. So you have the, op the option of putting another round. And I have some suggested string length that I will put on the description box below uh, just, just so that you wouldn't be able to waste your string. So since this project is a cluster of 4 wallet, unlike the other ones using cluster of 6, uh, it, it is much more compact and it needs more beads to make it and also more time to make it. So those are the things that you need to know before starting this project. Okay, so just to compare this project from the other one that I have made uh, the other one has a bottom dimension of 12 by 2 and this one it has a 10 by 2 dimension for the bottom part and we're going to do a little bit of math for this one so I'm gonna show you now how to start it so I have cut my string for about 2 meters so as to show you better it's up to you if you want to start with a 3 meters length of string. So to start off, we're going to use 3 colors for this project. So what we need to do is we need to hold our string so that the first end is on our right and the other end is on our left hand. So we're going to put 3 beads on the right string. And then we're going to silicop. This is a term that I usually use for this project. Salikop is one of my subscribers said that it is uh, crisscross or crossover. But I'm using Salikop because it is, more, more, it is much more easier for me. So you are going to Salikop. So you're going to insert the string so that the right one is going to the left and the left one is going to the right. Passing through that one bead. We're going to align our ends and we're going to slide that one bead so that it will go to the rest of the other beads to form a cluster of four. Okay, so we're just going to repeat this eight more times and I'm going to show you right before we end this first row. So the next thing we need to do is put one bead on the right string and one on the left. And we're going to Salikop with that one bead, one blue bead. Slide that one bead so that it will go to the rest of the other beads, forming our second cluster of four. And then I'm going to show you again how to do that. Put one bead on the right and also one on the left. And we're gonna silico with just one bead. So now we have 
3 3 clusters of 4 just make sure that your left and right be or left and right string is um, the same size or the, si the same length so after this we're just going to make 6 more clusters of 4 using that concept and I'm gonna catch up with you right before we end it okay so now that we have formed the uh, nine clusters of four for the first row of our foundation cluster now we're here as you can see there are about two rows that we need to form for the bottom part of this wallet so since we're here gonna put two beads on the right so that it will slant to the left then we're gonna silico up with a blue bead and we're gonna form the second row of the foundation cluster so now that we're here we're gonna put two blue ones on the right string and then we're gonna silico up with a blue bead And then the next thing you need to do, since we're now here, the string is coming out from the side part of this cluster of four. We're gonna insert this left string through that one adjacent blue bead. And we're gonna form a cluster of four here. So that is one blue on the right string and then silico up with a blue bead. We're just going to continue on making this across. So I'm just going to show you once again how I did that. So now we have two clusters of four for the second row. Insert your left string through that one adjacent blue bead. Put one blue on the right string. And then silico with a blue bead. And we're just gonna repeat these several times. And I'm gonna catch up with you right before we close the second row. So I'm just gonna repeat that uh, two, four, six more times. And I'm gonna catch up with you after that. Okay, guys, so now that we have formed the Clusters of four across this second row of the foundation cluster. We're now here. So what we need to do is we're gonna insert the left string through that one adjacent white beads, a white bead, and then here we're gonna put one one bead on the right and then silico up with a blue one. So now we have this and this is gonna be the bottom part for our wallet so here is where we're gonna do a little bit of math so we're gonna count how many clusters we have around this wallet to form the first round so we, we can count it by the side parts so two four six eight ten we have ten clusters across this first side and we have two on this other side here so we can add that up 10 plus 2 is 12 and we will multiply it by 2 so that it will cover the other side so we have uh, 24 clusters of 4 around this foundation cluster and now that we know how many clusters that they are around this uh, this piece we're going to divide it to the number of colors that we're going to incorporate for this project so 24 divided by 3 I'm using 3 colors is 8 so that is the number of times that the colors will al alternate for this project 
So, the number of clusters around this project should be divisible by the number of colors that you're, you're going to incorporate with it so that uh, the alternates will be even and it will alternate correctly. Okay? So, to start the first round, since we're here, we're going to put first a white bead. And then a blue one on the right screen. This is going to be the end part for the last cluster around this first round. So now we have a white and a blue. And then we're going to silica up with a blue one. So now you have this. So now you will see that this uh, two beads are slanting. And this first one here is going to be the this part for the last cluster, okay? So insert your left string to that one adjacent blue bead. And then we're going to use the, the second color is the yellow. So put one yellow one on the right string and then a yellow one to salikop. So now we have reached the first corner of the first round. Now we have this. The string is coming out from the string is horizontal to this other bead. So we're just gonna insert the left string through that one adjacent blue bead. And here is where the corner will fold or the beads will fold to create the corner. <coughs> 